The Creators Metric Weight Volume Tester, MWVT, has been produced under the guidelines of the Popcorn Institute. The tester is used to determine the expansion of a popcorn sample under tightly controlled popping conditions. The main features of the tester are high wattage pan, voltage control to permit exact control of the pan wattage, digital watt meter to display the wattage of the kettle, digital temperature controller to ensure accurate oil temperature, and a measuring tube, a large diameter tube to limit bridging of the popcorn in the tube. Please refer to the manual on instructions on how to correctly operate the MWVT. Be sure that the MWVT is plugged into a dedicated circuit with the correct voltage for the tester. First, we will need to weigh out four samples of 250 grams of corn. Label one sample as a warm-up sample. The warm-up sample will be popped in the MWVT and will be used to stabilize the kettle temperatures. The popcorn will be discarded. The three remaining samples will be used for the expansion test and the results will be recorded. Yellow or white coconut oil is recommended. If the oil is solid, we will need to heat the oil to liquefy it, then measure out four ounces of oil. When popping on the MWVT, be sure to wear safety glasses or a face shield. Turn on the circuit breaker, light switch, motor switch, and the kettle heat switch. Then close the lid on the kettle. If a stopwatch is available, start the stopwatch. This is used to measure the time it'll take to reach the set point of 480 degrees Fahrenheit from the cold start. Adjust the voltage controller until the watt meter displays 1400 watts. As the watt meter is sensitive, you can expect the value to oscillate between 1390. When the temperature controller reaches the set point of 480 degrees, the watt meter will drop to zero watts. Stop the stopwatch and then open the kettle lid. Pour in four ounces of oil into the kettle and close the lid. Record the time it takes to reach the set point. The time it takes to reach the 480 degree set point from a cold start should be approximately five minutes. This time should be pretty consistent whenever the machine is started from a cold start. When the oil is added to the kettle, the temperature of the kettle will drop below the set point and the kettle will begin to heat. Once the temperature controller comes back up to 480 degrees, open the kettle lid and add the warm up sample of corn. Close the lid and start the stopwatch. The stopwatch will allow us to see if we have a consistent popping times from the time you add the corn to the time you dump the kettle. As the kettle begins to heat up, the corn will begin to pop. The popping corn will push up the automatic cover lid and the popcorn will dispense into the hopper and drawer. The popping run is considered finished once there is a lapse of 5 seconds between pops. The operator should empty the kettle by pulling down on the kettle handle and empty the popped corn into the cabinet, then return the kettle to the level position. Using a paper towel, push all the corn into the tube. Remove the tube and discard the warm-up sample. Then return the tube to the MWVT. Add another 4 ounce measure of oil into the kettle and close the lid. Once the temperature reaches the set point of 480 degrees, Open the kettle lid and add the 250 grams of sample corn A into the kettle. Start the stopwatch and close the lid. As before, the corn will begin to pop. As it pops, it will push up the automatic cover lid up and the popcorn will dispense into the hopper and fall into the measuring tube. When the corn is done popping, stop the stopwatch and dump the corn into the hopper.
Starting on the left hand side and moving clockwise in the hopper, gently brush the popcorn into the measuring tube. You need to be careful not to unnecessarily pack the popcorn into the tube. Carefully remove the tube and read the popcorn height by interpolating the level point on the popcorn column. Record the MWVT reading for sample A in units of cubic centimeters output per grams of corn input. Also be sure to record the cycle time. Empty the tube and return the tube to the hopper. Repeat the pop E and C and record the expansion values. When testing is complete, shut off all the switches and circuit breakers on the machine. Be sure to keep test records of your corn expansion test sheet in the manual that you can use. If you have questions on the MWVT, you can contact our main office. Use the following phone.